I have wanted to go to Mars since I was about eight years old. My colleagues think I'm a little weird. <laughs> Would I like to go to Mars? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Mars is obviously a foreign environment to us. It's remote, isolated, and so a place like Devon Island is an analog for that, meaning that it sort of simulates similar characteristics. It's very uh, much a, an arctic desert, if you will. Uh, it's very rocky, rough terrain. Um, it's also the site of an impact crater, the Hawkton Crater. We're going to be living there, pretending that we're on a Mars mission. Uh, we'll be doing experiments. Uh, we're going to do EVA spacewalks. One thing about being north of the Arctic Circle, it's cold. Well, on Mars, it's going to be cold, so we have about the same temperature range. We're actually doing everything in spacesuit as simulation. Now, we could go and do it without spacesuits and all that, but boy, when you do it with spacesuits, uh, you know, trying to even write or anything else uh, with your gloves, that's a major problem in here, and even communication with each other. You're, you're in a fishbowl, what we call a helmet. It's warm, very warm. Maybe it would keep you warm in the Arctic. Uh... Fashion. <laughs> We're going to be carrying heavy packs with us, and so one of the things we're doing for training is walking around with packs to get used to the weight. And most people are probably just carrying, you know, dead weight in packs, but I'm carrying my son, so I get to have a nice hike with him at the same time. When you go to Mars, you're going to be limited on what you bring with you, on your equipment, on the supplies, on the tools and you can't just run out to Home Depot or the corner hardware store and pick up, you know, something. If you ran out of it or something broke, you're going to have to make do. I'm a commander and one of the things that I absolutely believe in is safety. I have actually fired people when I've worked in various places because they didn't watch other people's back, they, didn't, uh, they weren't working safely. And we're going to have a little safety meeting with, before every EVA and say, oh wait, what could go wrong? What would you do? How will we respond to this? Well, you know, we are all joking about polar bears. Hopefully we won't have any polar bear encounters, but there are polar bears, you know, so there are safety concerns that we have. Oh look, there's uh, polar bear footprints. <laughs> this is one thing that we have to worry about on Devon Island that we don't have to worry about on Mars. At least we hope we don't have to worry about on Mars, that there are polar bears there, so we have to be always aware of it. I know polar bears are really cute, but they're one of the few animals that will actively search and eat a human being. All of us crew members are doing some preliminary uh, training with shotguns to try to just make sure we know how to handle the gun. Uh, and how to load it and how to shoot it in case we need to. This is a 12 gauge pump action shotgun. All right, let's draw a polar bear on here. He's gonna be like, Arr. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna have mad eyes. Oh, I think you winged him. <laughs> oh, I only got his leg. Right. <laughs> You're gonna die, bear. Hasta la vista. There you go. Hit him right in the teeth. <laughs> in general, I'm going to be kind of an interdisciplinary scientist on the crew because I have a lot of different uh, science backgrounds. So I'm going to be doing a lot of experiments, uh, be helping out with a lot of uh, tasks regarding science. Then when I come back to my day job, I think I'll have a better understanding of what the crew goes through on a day to day basis. I am the chief medical officer, so I do have the medical role. Also, I'm going to be responsible for sort of keeping a daily journal of everything that goes on. You know, how do you prepare for the trip? How, how does the generator work? How do you get water? Uh, those type things. So I'm going to be responsible for basically writing the book of what happens during our month-long mission. Uh, I probably will be doing some of the psychological studies, and currently I'm in charge of food. <laughs> I'm the executive officer on the mission, which means that I'm going to be working very closely with uh, Vernon, the commander. Just do a quick pressure check. We're going to be making use of a UAV, or an unmanned aerial vehicle, which is a small, in essence, remotely programmed airplane that will go out and capture imagery and other sensor data and send that back to us on the ground. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so if I can send this unmanned aerial vehicle out there, have it survey a large area, and identify just those particular locations of interest, then that's where I can send the field geologist. There it is up there. Yeah. 
we use ATVs to simulate unpressurized rovers, similar to what you saw with the Apollo astronauts. They had a lunar rover to get to further distances than they could just by walking. This is your gas right here, so you just push with your thumb to move the bike, right? Mm -hmm. Automatic bike, you have to change gears at any time. I'm going to be bringing a seismometer and installing the first seismic station on Devon Island. And uh, it's important scientifically to understand the interior of the planet, uh, you know, what you can't see at the surface, um, as, as well as characterize any seismic hazard that may be there. I'm a little nervous just because this is something that is brand new experience to me. Adapting to the conditions and to the isolated environment is going to be a challenge. Um, it'll be difficult, but I don't think it's something that won't, you know, that I can't do. <laughs> My cats will miss me. <laughs> a person who steps out on the porch knows more about the world than a person who stays indoors. And to me, me going into this more simulation is I'm stepping out on the porch. And this is why I think we ought to be doing traveling. And I'm really excited by stepping out on the porch and being one of the people who gets to do that. So yeah, just kind of fold one in, fold the other one in, and then you can like that. Like that. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a great adventure. I'm really looking forward to it. We certainly have the technology to go to Mars with a group, small group of people and do exploration. We shouldn't just go out and explore Mars with a small number of people, but we should actually settle the planet. That that's kind of our destiny as a species, is to go out there and establish this next frontier.